Hello friends, in the last few sessions we saw how we can use the docker volumes to save, reuse and share the data among multiple docker containers. Now friends, in this session and the upcoming session, we will go back again to the docker file learning and we will see three very simple but most commonly used docker file instructions which are docker file work directory instruction, docker file copy instruction and the docker file add instruction. So friends, let us start with docker file work directory instruction. And so the work directory instruction is used for setting the working directory for all the instructions such as run, cmd, entry point, copy and add instructions. Basically all the instructions that are written after the work directory instruction inside the docker file. Also friends, the work directory instruction can be used multiple times inside the docker file. That is we can set the working directory path as many times as we want according to our need. And friends, when relative path is provided as a value to the work directory instruction, then that path is considered as relative to the path of the previous work directory instruction. Now friends, the syntax of work directory instruction is pretty simple and looks like work directory keyword and then any path which we want to set as the working directory path inside the docker image. So friends, for example, if we write working directory instruction inside the docker file as work dir and then slash a then it means that the working directory path inside the docker image will be set as slash a and friends now if we write the pwd command that is the present working directory command inside the docker file after the work directory instruction then the output of that pwd command will be displayed in the terminal as slash a similarly friends if suppose we have two working directory instruction inside the docker file as shown on the screen that is the first working directory instruction with path slash a and the second working directory instruction with path b. Then friends in this case if we run the pwd command after the second working directory instruction then the output of this command will become slash a slash b as friends the second working directory instruction will be treated as the related part to the first working directory instruction. Now friends let us see all these things which we discussed till now by running our docker containers using the work directory instruction. So for this friends let us go to the putty command line terminal and let us check the present working directory here by executing the pwd command. So here we can see friends that right now we are inside the slash home slash ubuntu directory inside this machine. So now let us create one new directory here to keep our docker files in this linux machine. So let us execute a linux command to create a new directory here and friends mkdir is the linux command to create a new directory so let me execute the same so mkdir and then the directory name so let us give the directory name as docker files and now let me press enter to execute this command so friends with this a new directory with name docker files got created successfully inside the slash home slash ubuntu directory. So now let us go inside this newly created directory with the help of cd command. So cd and then docker files. And now friends let us create one more new directory here with name work directory 1. So mkdir and then the directory name which is work directory 1 in our case. And now again let us move inside this newly created directory. And now friends let us create one new docker file here inside this directory. So let us execute the linux vi command to create a new file. So vi and then the file name which is docker file in our case. And now friends on pressing enter we will be taken inside this newly created docker file. And with this we are now inside this newly created docker file which is empty right now. And friends to start writing the text or docker file instructions inside this docker file then first thing we need to do here is to press the i button on the keyboard to go in the insert mode. So let me press i key on my keyboard and with this now friends we can write the content inside this docker file and now instead of writing some of the common docker file instructions which we have already seen earlier. Let us copy those instructions from one of the docker file we created earlier and then let us modify that docker file according to the need of this session. 
So friends, let me go to one of the docker file in my machine. And here let us copy the content of this docker file. And now let us again go back to the putty command line terminal. And let us paste the copied content here. And now friends, let us modify this docker file to demonstrate the working directory instruction. So starting from the top, let us modify this comment over here. And let us make it as demoing work directory instruction. Now friends, let us remain the next three instructions as it is. And then let us add the work directory instruction here after this run instruction. So work dir keyword and then the directory path which is slash a in our case. And now friends, let us also add the run instruction to execute the pwd command. So run and then pwd. And so with these modifications friends, the docker file to demonstrate the working directory instruction is ready now. So now to save this file and come out of the Linux VI editor, we need to press the escape button on the keyboard followed by colon W and Q keys. So let me press the same. So escape and then colon and then W Q keys. And now let us press enter. And with this friends, now we are outside of the VI editor. And also our docker file got created successfully. So let us verify the presence of docker file using the linux ls command. So ls. And here we can see our newly created docker file inside the work directory one folder. So now as our docker file is ready. So let us create an image from this docker file to see the output of work directory instruction. So friends, let us execute the docker build command here to build the docker image from this docker file. So docker build hyphen t and then here let us give the image identification as work directory image one and then finally the dot symbol. And now let us press enter to execute this command. And with this here we can see that the docker image got built successfully now. So now let us see the output of the pwd command which we used after the work directory instruction inside the docker file. So here we can see friends that the output of the pwd command is appearing as a slash a and this is the same as what we have set through the working directory instruction inside the docker file. So friends with this we have successfully seen the first example of docker file work directory instruction. Now friends let us see one more example related to work directory instruction. And so for this let us copy the docker file we created just now and then let us modify it according to the need of this second demo. So friends let us again go back to the docker files directory using the change directory command. So cd and then double dot to go to the parent directory. And now here let us create one more directory with name work directory 2. So mkdir and then the directory name which is work directory 2 this time. And now let us copy the content of work directory 1 inside the work directory 2 using the linux copy command. So friends cp is the linux command for copying files or directory from one location to other location. So let us execute the same here. So cp and then the source directory path which is work directory 1 in our case and then slash star and then space and then finally the destination folder path which is work directory 2 and then slash and friends the symbol is star after the source directory path over here means that we need to copy all the content present inside the work directory 1 to the work directory 2. Now friends let us press enter here to execute this command and with this the linux cp command got executed successfully. So now let us check whether the docker file from work directory 1 got copied to the work directory 2 or not. So let us go inside the work directory 2 folder. So cd and then the folder name which is work directory 2. And now let us execute the ls command here. And here we can see friends that the docker file got copied successfully inside this directory. So now let us modify this docker file. So let us again execute the vi editor command. So vi and then the docker file. And now let us press I key for editing this file. 
and here friends this time let us add one more working directory instruction inside this docker file to see the working directory relative path so work dir keyword again and then let us give the path as b and now let us also execute the pwd command again here to see the change in the output of the pwd command after the second work directory instruction so run and then pwd and friends with this the docker file is ready now so let us save this docker file and come out of the vi editor by pressing the escape button on the keyboard followed by colon w and q keys so escape colon w q and then enter and now let us build the docker image using this docker file and see the output of second work directory instruction so docker build hyphen t and here let us give the image identification as work directory image 2 and then as usual the dot symbol and now let us press enter to execute this command and with this the docker image got built successfully and if we now observe the output of the build steps of this docker image then we can see here the output of the second pwd command inside the docker file which is slash a slash b so friends with this we have learned about the docker file work directory instruction here in this session now friends let us look at the docker file copy and add instructions in the next session so see you in the next session till then take care tata bye bye